couple of days ago, I saw a feature in SharePoint site that became enabled in uh, by Microsoft uh, uh, to see who has seen your files in SharePoint libraries. And to uh, use that, you need to enable the features in the site collections. Um, that will tell you who has actually seen your file. So the file can be any documents in the document library or it can be your own Teams recording in your Teams channel. So for this example, we'll just simply see um, a, a Word document. We upload it into a Microsoft Teams channel and we will enable the feature and we'll see who is seeing the file or not. Yeah. So I'm in my Teams called Budget 2020 and in my general channel, I'm going to the Files tab. I'm going to quickly create uh, a Word document, call it Budget Meeting List. I'm going to create. Okay, I will type something testing the viewing of this document. Okay, so save automatically. Okay, close. Okay, it's been saved by me. Okay. Let's go to the SharePoint site of this team. It will take me to the document library. Okay, first we have to enable that feature at the site collection level. So go to the site settings, view all settings. Then under site actions, click on manage site features. And find a, a feature called SharePoint viewers. Keep coming down, keep coming down. Oh, there we have. So this will display the site members or the names of the people who viewed your files or pages in the sites. Okay, let's go and activate it. Okay, let's go down and double check it's been activated or not. Yeah, it's activated now. Okay, let's, uh, let's have this file open. Uh, okay, so I have uploaded this file, yeah. And let's see if you go, let's close this down and open the SharePoint site again. So, so now if you hover over the document, over the three dots, it will show you this view. This view is all, all, already there. Uh, but if you see the uh, see details on the right hand side, it will show, it will show the view. So if you click on the one view, it will open the statistics of that file showing like how many people have viewed. At the moment, it's just only me. Uh, so um, if you close down and I will log in as a different user. Okay, so this is a, a different user for the same teams going to the files and opening the same file again. Okay, I'm not I've opened it. I'm not editing it. I'm just viewing it. Uh, so I just scrolling down and I closing it. Okay. And this user is short limit. Yeah. Okay. So now if you go back to the SharePoint site in the other login, which I used to see over here, we just refresh it. Okay, after we do one more refresh, okay, we hover over it and we go to the see details. And as you can see, it has two views. Click on the two views, it will open the new statistics pop up window and it will show uh, Shaul Hamid has viewed just now. This I already viewed, yeah. So, yeah, this is the feature you can use it to see who has seen the files. Uh, this feature has been recently added. You can enable at your site collection level. Um, and if you're using Teams, so go to the Teams SharePoint site, go to the uh, file features, SharePoint site features, then enable it. Then you can able to view. The same thing you can do by um, meetings also, meeting recording. So for example, in your Teams, if you're scheduling a meeting over here, so like this, you're scheduling, scheduling a meeting at the channel level, yeah? And if you have the settings set to have the Microsoft stream recording saved directly to the channel. So for that channel, the video file will be created in the SharePoint site. So once you have this feature already turned on and once the meeting is over, you can come back to this file, uh, to the file which will be created, the video file 
in the channel at the SharePoint site and click on the details just like how we did now see details and the click on the views it will show how many people have viewed your video recording for the meeting that uh, that that have been completed so you can have a control of who is really interested um, who is just not caring about your video recording yeah uh, that will give you a statistics to decide whether you can record in the future or not um, so yeah so this is a new feature please try it out in your tenant if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye